So I'm reading from the Abundance book, page 15, and I am reading The Truth and the Law, and there are four of them. So if you'd like to close your eyes and just kind of let these wash over you, that's kind of fun. Or if you want to take notes while I'm talking and write down what words are coming to you, that's fun too. Or just sit and listen. Now, whatever works for you, and you might do it different ways, different times. So number one, your outer world of form and experience is a reflection of your inner world of thoughts and feelings. As above, so below. As within, so without. That is the law. Number two, the greater your awareness of the presence of God within you, the more that presence fills your consciousness. That is the law. Number three, the deeper your understanding of spirit as the source, substance, and activity of your supply, the more permanently that truth will be etched in your consciousness. That is the law. And number four, it is your spiritual consciousness, your knowledge of the presence of God within you as total and complete fulfillment that interprets itself as every form or experience in your world. That is the law. So, I mean, Really, if we were following the law, our lives would be much less complicated, wouldn't it? Because we wouldn't be left to our own devices and thinking that we know everything and we can do everything because we do nothing by ourselves. And if we understood and we accepted and we embraced the fact that God is our partner, I mean, what do you think could happen if God was your partner? Ciao for now.